is the success of an established company being able to reinvent itself and to go in new and different places means that we cannot lock, think of these, these disciplines as individual silos. We have to integrate leadership, strategy, and innovation together. It's not just about innovation. It's not just about let a thousand flowers bloom or if we could just give more time for people to be creative. I mean, they will be creative and they will come up with ideas, but that's not the failure point. The failure point is in the shaping of those ideas. It's getting it through the process to be developed and actually implemented. Does that make sense? That's kind of the preamble of a lot of what we're gonna talk about. But it's, it's a huge issue, as I think you know, and I'll talk about some of the challenges now, because so many companies are facing the challenge that, as the poet Paul, Paul Valery said, you know Paul Valery, if you're French, um, he said the future is not what it used to be. And so I think you all know this, right, with the, the acceleration of knowledge and understanding through the internet and, uh, and um, the ability with just information. Um, companies cannot sit for very long on their existing business model. Peter Drucker once said, every company has a theory of the business, and sooner or later that theory no longer works. And the theory of the business is the business model. And it just so happens these business models don't last 40 years anymore. Their life cycle is much shorter. So how do you get better about reinventing yourself in some things that get squarely suited with what Luke talked about? They come down to this essence of the human being, of cognitive behavior, of orthodoxies, of the nature. You know, we hyperbolically discount. We tend to look much more at the present than the future, and we discount the future. We tend to be geared towards what we know and what we do and in sort of the scope of things surrounding. We're not comfortable with areas of new understanding. And then so you, you'd get Daniel Kuhneman and other people and they'd say, there's a whole bunch of actually cognitive elements of how we are as human beings that inhibit the ability for any established company to do something fundamentally new and different. And then add on top of that, because human beings create organizations, the organizations themselves create incentives in a setup of processes that actually reinforce the cognitive nature to not do something that's new and different from a management point of view. So as once said, the Calvary's not coming. Um, it isn't gonna change anytime soon. So we have to figure out what is it that you do to overcome what are actually much bigger odds against you than you might think if you're talking about an established organization. 